We're looking at the kanji for summer in this video tutorial. It's pronounced natsu, and we need it so that we can say summer holiday or summer vacation. It's got two very clearly identifiable parts, the top and the bottom. And originally, the top was a picture of someone wearing a mask. And the bottom was, and still is clearly identifiable, as walking legs. Now we're going to stick with the real meaning of the bottom part, walking legs. But on top, I think we've got a better way of remembering that. Because the stroke on top looks like the cover that we need from the sun in summer. And underneath, there's the element which you can recognize as meaning I. And we're going to link the cover at the top with a small stroke in the middle. Then we've got I underneath. And I think that's quite easy to use to remember summer because in summer, we need to cover our eyes so that we don't get blinded by that scorching sun. So on the top, we've got cover for our eyes. And then underneath, we've got walking legs. And summer, well, you do get your sunnies on in summer and have a lovely stroll around in that beautiful weather. So there we have natsu, or summer. Let's look at the stroke order of natsu. So the first stroke goes from left to right. And that's the cover there for our eyes. The next stroke is the linking stroke. And then underneath we have the I. Now you'll recall that when we write any box shape, we go down on the left, across and round on the right without taking our pen off the paper. Then we insert the strokes inside the box and they always go left to right. So there's one and two. And then finally we close our box off. So there we have the element for I and it's joined to the top stroke, which is the cover against that hot sun. And finally underneath we have our walking legs. And it begins a little bit like the katakana tap. So we go down, across, and round. And then our second stroke goes this way. And if you're not convinced that they're walking legs, how about we pop a pair of shoes on? So there's one, and there's the other. And now you can see very clearly they're definitely walking legs. Now we're going to use that kanji natsu to write summer holiday. And that's pronounced natsu yasumi. And the second kanji here is the yasu part from yasumi. Let's just remind ourselves of the stroke order of summer. So we put our cover across the top. Then we add our linking stroke. We put our eyes in next, always left to right, and then finally underneath we add our walking legs. There they are, they're a little bit squished up because there's not a lot of room left once we've put the cover and the eyes above. So now we add our character, meaning a break, and we begin with the kanji, that's the yasu bit, and we're starting with the left hand element, that's a person and that person is just resting up against this tree having a little break from whatever they were doing in the forest and of course we have to add the hiragana mi to the end of yasumi to complete the word yasumi and we put it together and we get natsu yasumi a summer break or a summer vacation.